Because there is too much division, there is too many people trying to have it their way when we should step back and say, Lord, not our way, but let your will be done. Let us do it the way you want it done, Lord. Let us run it the way you desire it to run. 13. Let us notice 2 Corinthians 4 in verse number 13. And notice what this man of God says to saints in the 13th verse. Notice what Paul said. And he said, and since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak. And so tonight's subject is going to be possessing the same spirit of faith. I want you to look at a neighbor and tell your neighbor the subject tonight. Possessing the same spirit of faith. And again, I want to deal with sameness. Sameness is synonymous with oneness or togetherness. And so listen carefully tonight as I break down the importance of being the same. When people are truly united or truly together, they are going to possess similar traits and similar characteristics. There's no way you're going to be on one accord and you not have or share similar traits when you look at one another. And people will be able to tell that we are one because we do things that are similar. And understand tonight, this is important because whenever people are truly connected, you're going to see sameness somewhere. How many would agree with that? If there's truly a connection with somebody, even from a natural standpoint, when you look at a father and a son, you are going to be able to see in that son some similar things that you see in that father that will allow you to know that there is a connection between the two. And even if we are truly walking in the word of God, people should be able to look within our church and see us walking in similar traits are having similar characteristics. Now, the, the, the sad thing is, is when people claim to be united, but you don't see similar traits. You, you, you don't see people doing things that are beneficial for one another. You see people claiming to be united, yet you see a lot of fighting and ism and schism amongst them that would suggest that they are not the same because many folk use their energy to stay divided rather than uniting, not realizing the power of unity or the power of sameness. And anytime you want to reach a level of being the same, it's going to take some work. How many would agree with that? In, in order for people to be on one accord, somebody's going to have to truly strive to keep division out. Did, did you hear me? I said they're going to have to truly strive to keep division out, knowing the devastation that division can cause, and you're going to have to consistently work on being the same. Now notice, sameness also has to do with there being a lack of variety. Listen carefully. When people are truly the same, you are going to be able to see that there's a lack of variety. And like it or not, when it comes to the church, the church is not the place where you can have it your way. 
No, 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 no. The church is not the place for you to come in and you think that you're going to dictate everything and that everything is going to go the way that you desire it to go. No, the church is the place that we come in order to change so that we can go from one level to the next level and that we can be corrected and that we can see ourselves so that we can unite with other brothers and sisters. But please understand that God never ordained for his church to be a place where we can come and feel comfortable and have things the way that we desire it and when things don't go our way then we're going to poke out our lips or, or, or we're going to complain and murmur but understand tonight that when people are the same there is a lack of variety because they are trying to line up with one another and they're striving to be on the same page in order to be productive See, the reason a lot of us can't get things done in our home and in auxiliaries and the reason so many churches cannot move forward is because there is too much division. There is too many people trying to have it their way when we should step back and say, Lord, not our way, but let your will be done. Let us do it the way you want it done, Lord. Let us run it the way you desire it to run. Am I right? Now, many of us are going to be quiet tonight because we are comfortable being divided. And I want to say to you that God is not the author of confusion. God wants sameness amongst his people. God wants sameness when it comes to families so that families can go from struggling to having. So that families can go from being behind to getting ahead. So that they can go from being the tail to being the head. Come on, somebody. We have to put an end to being divided but realize in order to reach sameness you're going to have to operate in self denial there's no way two or more people can get on the same page without people being willing to deny themselves somebody's going to have to operate in self denial and to show you that Jesus wanted his church on one accord the first thing he said to them was that if you're going to follow me, if you're going to be my disciple, you must first deny yourself. Because the one thing that hurts unity is selfishness. I'm going to say it again. The one thing that will kill unity is selfishness. When people put their feelings above the feelings of the group. When people put what they want above what is beneficial for a group. You have people operating in selfishness or yet they are killing blessings. And, and we need to learn to change and stop being so selfish. And realize that if we would just unite, it's going to be beneficial for everybody. Am I in the house tonight? Now, the antithesis of sameness is different. And hear me tonight. In, in one sense, it's sometimes good to be different. But you have to understand when you're trying to unite or come together, you can't be trying to be different just for the sake of being different. Because sometimes you have people who want to stand out when it's not time to stand out. It's not time to do it the way you want to do it. It's time for you to listen to somebody so that you can get a little farther down the road instead of continuing to act like you know things that you really don't know. You got to stop and listen to somebody that can help you get to where you desire to be. So understand, nobody is kicking because when you preach sameness, oneness or togetherness a lot of folk feel like well they trying to keep me from being myself they don't want me to be who I am but sometimes you got to look at who you are because when it comes to some of us that's the reason your life is jacked up because of who you are if you would change oh god somebody shout change see in order to mature it takes change and so, yes, different can be good, but understand sometimes being different can be devastating to unity. Being different sometimes disrupts unity because, again, you have people operating in selfishness. 
And going forward, the one thing that we want to kill is selfishness. But they understand that they have been given an assignment to bear the burden of the people and to pray for the people. But, but, but how can you pray somebody else through when you can't pray yourself through simple trials? <laughs> 